what's up guys we are back once again now again this is for a lot of you guys that have not seen uh or have seen uh fast fears 10 or fast 10 however you want to say it now for those of you that have seen the film this is definitely going to be for you i'd first like to get y'all's input what do you think is going to happen as of right now we do know that it's been recently announced the sequel is in works to this film a lot of people are like oh we we want another film or we want two more films honestly Guys, I think that we need to finish this off with one more film. I think if we just get one more film, then we should be fine. I think that we will get our fill from this. I think that we will finally be hopefully satisfied at the very end of the film. Now, what are my thoughts at as of right now with Fast 10? Again, if you guys have seen my review for Fast 10, you guys know that I really enjoyed the film. With the very end of the film, though, what exactly should we see in, I would say, the sequel, like Fast 10 Part 2. Let's just say that. Or Fast 11. I, I don't know. But um, honestly, what I think is going to happen is they're kind of going to do a Affinity slash in-game type deal where they're going to start off separated and then they're going to end up, you know, united. And what I think is going to happen is somehow... They may either show Dom right away with his son, or they may have him it maybe show up like maybe a little bit at, like almost midway through. Because again, we can see maybe Tez, Ramsey, and Rome getting out of the plane somehow. Maybe they got in a car, they jumped out. I, I don't know. And let's say they're alive. Let, let's say they're alive for the most part. Han, I can't remember if Han was on the plane or not. Um, he goes somewhere and. He somehow, I guess, is helping Shaw with um, trying to find if his mother's okay. And let's say, worst case scenario, Shaw gets there. His mom's fighting off all these ones. And let's say she dies. And then we may see uh, his brother show up. And then they're going to be like, okay, who did this? Who set out this hit? And then they go, okay, well, we got to find... We're going to have to meet up with Toretta somehow, some way. So now you got the Shaw brothers, you got Han, you got Rome, you got Ramsey, you got Tez. They're all trying to get where Dom is. Then on another point, you got Letty with Cypher. And we find out uh, when they meet up with, of course, Gal Gaia's character, what exactly happened? You know, how did she survive? How was she able to survive? Did she um, jump out and she lost her memory? Was it like a Letty kind of a deal? What happened? What exactly, you know, what happened to Giselle? What, what, what happened to her? Did she lose her memory? Did uh, she get nursed back to health by somebody? Did Cypher save her? Did um, someone in, like, again, guys, like there, there's gotta be something there like of how she survived and how would Sh uh, Cypher know where, you know, they would be at, you know what I mean? So let's say first thing thing they find that out same thing hey we got to find dom then hobbs is probably going to be doing the same thing of okay you're coming after me i know you're coming after dom and you're coming after mia brian tez roman haunt everybody so he throws away whatever bad blood he may have with hobbs not not hobbs but shaw at the moment even though they they were together in hobbs and shaw so let's assume this all takes place after hobbs and shaw let's let's assume that and they all meet up. They're like, where's Dom at? Where exactly is he? What I would personally love is the last known location. Rome, everyone else is looking for him. They can't find him. And Mia comes with the kids. And we see where everyone has to stick together, right? And they don't know, first off, that Jacob may be dead. And again... He could be dead. We really don't know because, again, it's Fast and Furious. We don't know until we see a body, right? Look what happened to Giselle. Look what happened to Han. Same thing. We, we don't know. Um, and then next thing you know, we're like, okay, well, this is last location. And we already know. Well, who's out there? And who finds him? Brian. You know, who finds Dom? Brian. Let's say that little Brian has been trying to pull his dad out of the water because he somehow saved him or something of that nature where Dom is injured and Brian has to save him. Uh, that, I think, would be really cool to where everyone's looking for Dom, but Dom is, like, 
out, out of out, out, out of ammunition right now. He, like he can't do anything. He doesn't know what his next move is. He doesn't know where everybody's at. He doesn't know where his team is. He doesn't know where his family is. So I think that would be a very good uh, combination. And at the very end, we all they all come together and they go, okay, look, Ames is dirty. The agency is, you know, corrupted. And we have maybe Brie Larson coming back. She survived. Um, they find out about Helena's sister. They uh, find out all about this stuff. So, again, everything concludes what we found out in the previous film. And then they finally come up with an idea to go after Dante. And Dante is just at the top of the world. He thinks he's killed Dom. He thinks he's killed everyone else. He's waiting to see if anyone's you know, still there to where he can possibly kill him. And then he finds out, oh, damn, I didn't kill him, right? So what's my next move? I got to kill this person. I got to try to kill this person. So I think that's what they should do. Again, I don't know if they're going to do that or not. That would be a good idea. Um, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Do you think they should do something like that? Do you think they should honestly wait and see, you know, like who's going to survive? And like if everyone survived, then try to take down, you know, Dante, the very last villain. Um, again, it, it kind of felt like, again, they're doing like a Batman Joker type deal with uh, Dom versus uh, Dante. I think it was really interesting. But again, I think it's going to be more interesting to see where these characters are going to be at in part two when it finally does there. Honestly, I could see this coming maybe in a year, year and a half. Uh, maybe, honestly, I think it needs to be a year. I, I think it needs to be a year. Uh, I wouldn't say don't wait too long because, again, it's just you, we, they may run into more issues. Um, again, it may be prolonged due to the writer's strike right now. It may be prolonged due to uh, other you know, conflicting schedules, something of that nature. So again, we're going to have to wait and see. But guys, what do you think about this? What do you think about the idea of possibly what may happen in part two? How you think it's going to start? How you think it's going to end? Who you think it's going to survive? Let me know what you guys thoughts are about it down in the comments down below. If you guys are new to the channel, also subscribe. Leave a big fat like on the video, and I'll see you as always on the next one.